And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. There's no intelligent life here. Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talk. So if you've been following me for the last year or so, I've been talking about the alien agenda. For those who are paying attention, it has become very obvious that the fake stream media and the establishments around the world have been releasing fairy tale stories, getting politicians, getting presidents to talk about aliens on the telly and extraterrestrials. We've seen the Pentagon release footage and say they were now taking UFOs seriously. That black and white footage, you remember this one, of course. All of the footage is incredibly grainy, black and white, always is. Strange in this day and age, on all the technology they have, these cameras are so crap. We've heard endless stories about aliens and UFOs over the past two to three years. Certainly, it's picked up in the last year or so. I mean, this load of nonsense is from just the last few days. It's non-stop alien UFO propaganda. The insufferable establishment slave puppet propaganda presenter James Corden he was interviewing Bill Clinton just the other day and of course they were talking about aliens only last year he had Obama on the show and guess what they were talking about aliens about how the possibility of alien life forms was not that far-fetched you know see the ploy is here that if they get enough presidents and governmental figures to talk about it and especially on big American fake stream media shows they believe it helps to reinforce the seriousness of the subject they are priming the masses so when they stage an event featuring aliens in the future whatever they're planning when that happens the public are more likely to accept it it seems to me there is definitely some form of psyop that is being planned for the future with this alien agenda. And of course we have the pretend saviour of free speech, Elon Musk. He's also talking about aliens. Only a couple of days ago, Elon Musk talks space aliens, company's future in video call with Twitter employees. This alien topic is another giveaway. If they're promoting a new age, meditation, play into Trump, Biden, left versus right, and in Musk's case, want to stick a microchip into your brain, then be very, very wary of them. That's my opinion. Look, to make myself abundantly clear, the whole alien stuff is all crap to me. It's all rubbish, all of it. If you bump into an alien, if you're walking down the street, I'd say it's probably more likely to be a demon. You remember, I talked about this before, the first image resembling what people refer now to as a grey alien, is said to come from Satanist Aleister Crowley over 100 years ago when he drew this character called Lamb, which is supposedly an entity he channeled using black magic, sorcery, all of that stuff. So like I say, probably a demon, if anything at all. But anyway, the media are constantly pushing stuff out. And here we have an example of what I call media conditioning. And this just shows you the story doesn't even have to be true. They still put it out to just slowly, on a daily basis, condition the masses to slowly accept this alien crap into their subconscious. Here's a clip. Get your yeah. Oh, oh. You don't see it coming. Carson yeah. joins that. us now. Mm -hmm. That, of course, was a clip from Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the classic Spielberg <laughs> sci-fi movie about aliens reaching out to mankind through music. That's right. Guys, a new report out in China could be bringing us closer to that becoming a reality and answering that age-old question, are we alone in the universe? Using the world's largest radio telescope, wow. researchers picked up what they are saying possible signs of life beyond Earth in the form of mysterious electromagnetic signals. <laughs> they did not rule out possible radio interference. They said it was unlike anything they'd seen before. Mm. When it comes, as of course we were telling you earlier this week, NASA is looking into the possibility of extraterrestrial civilizations after it launched an investigation to UFOs just last week. Do we, are we alone in the universe? No, Just absolutely, no. absolutely no. not. No, no. But I don't, I don't, can't no. be. I don't. No, 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 absolutely all of them. Oh no, of course not. We must condition the public to believe in the possibility of aliens. Universe? No, absolutely, no. absolutely no. not. No. No. But I don't, I don't, can't no. be. I don't think they're little green men though. 
But I, I think, hope not. <laughs> so what do you what do you think? I don't know. I think they're just avoiding us. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that 60 Minutes where all oh, the, yeah. Yeah. When the fighter pilots? Force, when the fighter pilot said they saw something that was weird, that's when I was in. Yeah. yeah. Like I said that was it. Oh, by scientific know. by scientific measures, we'd be very naive to think that we're yeah. Right. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Why don't we do what they do in Close Encounters? Why don't we get the world's biggest speaker yeah. Yeah. and point it towards <laughs> the galaxies right. and play like the well, new Beyonce's Harry, new album? Play Beyonce or Harry <laughs> Styles. <laughs> yes. Yes. As you see, this story is just an excuse to get talentless clowns like these to talk on these mind control MSM shows to just keep this topic in the public's subconscious and slowly groom them into believing these aliens UFOs could be real for whenever in the future they plan this staged event, whatever it will be. And also this story from China is just fairy tale guff. They put the initial story out, circulated it for a couple of days and then put another story out a few days later saying, oh, it was just a false alarm. Here we see from yesterday, Chinese telescope did not find an alien signal. The search continues, it says. It was just a, a radio frequency. Duh, suckers. It's just a phantom story, another fake stream story put out to create media buzz to get people talking about it test and measure the public's reaction to the story so they know how far to take the next bout of propaganda and at the same time slowly condition them to the possibility of aliens working in tandem with all of the other stories. Yeah? I mean, you'll notice that many of the new age gurus in the alternative scene that I have talked about in the past will bang on a lot about aliens. It's all interconnected. They are all part of the same system. This leads me on to Richard Maidley. Now, obviously, Richard Maidley, another puppet presenter, he didn't get the memo about it being just a radio frequency because yesterday he put this story out in the Daily Express about the aliens. He said, has China found alien life and covered it up? Wouldn't be the first time, Richard Maidley. It says here now mainly is a good example of what these puppet wind up establishment presenters are i mean if you remember at the start of the lockdowns he was turning up on talk radio complaining about the lockdowns about how the government had got it wrong he was playing the controlled opposition part but then a year later he was fronting good morning britain and tearing up the yellow card reports in front of the camera in a planned stunt with dr hillary they do whatever they are told they read the teleprompter and they take the money now maidley had this article yesterday here has china found alien life and covered it up wouldn't be the first time the idea that we may not be alone in the universe is steadily gaining credence now this article is like a blueprint of where the media think they are at with this alien brainwashing the public agenda this is it in a nutshell being spelled out here it says whether it's extraordinary videos released by the u.s government pff, they're not they're not extraordinary they're crap he says whether it's fascinating personal statements from respected public figures such as UK astronaut Tim Peake or posthumous testimony from Professor Stephen Hawking's mega brain, the old cliche that he had to be nuts to believe in aliens is slowly but surely crumbling. You see, he's trying to sell you, sell to you that it's not crazy to talk about aliens anymore. They could be real. And then of course he uses certain famous names to reinforce this, to back it up. He's basically saying the media propaganda, with the help of famous names and their testimonies, is helping to condition the public to believe the alien agenda that the establishment is planning to use in the future to create a big event. He then continues to talk about those crappy Pentagon videos, deliberately poor quality so that they can't be properly analyzed and debunked, he says they show flying objects moving around them with inexplicable speed and seemingly impossible abrupt changes in direction. Of course, Richard believes in this totally. He says one of the reasons the videos has resurfaced is because emboldened by the Pentagon's pledge last year to take them seriously, other US military pilots have stepped forward to say they too have encountered mysterious flying objects. 
Of course they have. Of course they will. Then he goes on about the China story and how amazing it is, although it was just a radio frequency. Then there's just more waffle, but it ends up on this. He says, but Stephen Hawking didn't think we should go looking for the aliens. He said, if aliens visit us, the outcome would be much as when Columbus landed in America, he said. That didn't turn out well for the Native Americans. And then he says, I hate to sound paranoid, but maybe instead of preparing to welcome alien contact, we should be trying to ignore it, or worst case, getting ready to defend ourselves. If we can, bows and arrows weren't much use against muskets. So basically, if we take this as a whole, the message being put across by the entirety of the fake stream media and the establishment, that message is they are continually trying to make the public believe that UFOs and aliens are real, but without any evidence, absolute zero credible evidence whatsoever. All they've got is crappy footage that looks terrible. Creating, they're trying to create an entity of which they have no proof of. Does that sound familiar? They're trying to create a fairy tale narrative that they can then use in the future to coerce people into doing something that they would have no interest in doing and that is in no way any benefit to them. Does that sound familiar? If we look at the New World Order, narrative, the Great Reset Agenda, the One World Government Theory, the alien invasion would be very beneficial in achieving those theories. As we see at the end of the article by Richard Madeley, he was alluding to an alien invasion. So what better way to unite all countries, all governments into a one world government to combat a so-called alien invasion from outer space? It sounds crazy, but as the last two years have proven, we're living in crazy town. There's many other staged events and scenarios they could manufacture with a fake alien visitation in order to bring about their plans, which are still the same. Digital passports, cashless society, everyone tracked, tagged, monitored, 24-7 surveillance, your every move analyzed and judged, social credit system, a digital prison, you've heard me say it before. But it's clear to me that this alien agenda is being built up to in the media. It's in the planning. And in my opinion, it's complete and utter garbage, like most of the stuff in a fake stream media. Let us know what you think and share the video if you agree. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to hugotalks.com and I'll see you later.